Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about My Antonia by Willa Cather. So, as you know, I've, I've reviewed uh, a few of her things recently. I did uh, Alexander's Bridge and I did uh, Fallen Woman or something like that, whatever its title was, over the last couple months. So obviously I like her, I like her writing. And um, I first heard of My Antonia. Uh, my, my older brother was assigned it in university, I think. Um, and I, saw, I always saw the book sitting there. So I thought uh, I'd finally give it a read. Um, really enjoyed it. Excellent book uh, set in rural Nebraska around the turn of the century. Um, and, you know, it's interesting. I think the thing that, that kept coming back to me about this book was that it was um, so sort of small on events, but big on heart. Okay, what do I mean by that? Um, so I keep thinking that maybe, although I've never read um, Little Women, for instance, that book, I kind of feel like it's more of a, the book is kind of more of a, like a warm blanket that you wrap around you and sort of makes you feel a part of something, of something um, like human life um, in its reality and its, in its sort of affectionate and loving basis. So the story is about, um, was told from the perspective of a young man named Jim or James. And he, he is, yes, he, he's, he's a character in the book, but he's more an observer of, uh, the characters of this Antonia. So it's, he, he provo he's a friend and they've known each other since childhood and so on. So basically what we see is him reflecting on uh, or observing certain parts of her life um, and so she's from oh gosh she is an immigrant like from I can't even remember I keep thinking Eastern Europe but maybe it's Norway I can't remember um, and so her family's sort of plunked down in the middle of Nebraska and so on and all the you know the economic hardships of, of that kind of uh, lifestyle and near and the nearby farm of course is uh jim's his jim's grandparents farm and um sort of the interrelations between the two families or whatever and certain tragic events and certain sort of positive events just sort of sort of cataloging or find, finding the progress of this of this person antonia so again she's not exceptional there's nothing exceptional in the book but she she is an interesting and, and uh, in a way, beautiful soul. She's um, very spirited, but she's not like, you know, that sort of spunky thing that you'd see, for instance, in, uh, you know, modern remakes of, you know, like Sherlock Holmes or something like that, featuring a woman character who's so spunky and, you know, rude and all that stuff. Um, this Antonia proves to be a very hardworking woman. Um, and, uh, she's, she's one, you know, in a way she's someone who works extremely hard, but also lives and, and celebrates life's upside too. And, um, so it's a very interesting character development. And again, this is not a plot driven book, but a, uh, description and atmosphere driven book. Um, again, and I'm having trouble sort of correlating it to, to anything. I mean, one thing that jumps to mind, as I said, was Little Women, but also um, in, a, in, in a, a male version, maybe would be Tolstoy's Childhood, Boyhood, Youth. So it's not that it's plot driven again, that book. It's character driven. It's feeling driven. It's, it's descriptive driven. And um, I think that, uh, you know, anyone who wants to feel, to feel, part of another age or another time another setting this is a kind of book for you like it, it it it's one that that brings you into a certain life and setting so so again it's not that Antonia is like this modern you know a person ahead of her time or anything like that she's not she in fact excels as being a very earnest um, person develops into a wonderful mother um 
and uh, I think as a character study it's it's really cool um, so there you go so I recommend it for that reason it, again not it's not an exciting book but it is a it is a it is a warm book it's a feeling book and um, you know I, I thought it was pretty good uh, pretty apt to read it around Christmas time so it had that kind of familial old-fashioned feel to it that we think of when we think of Christmas you know we think of uh, Charles Dickens world and so on well this is is the other side of the ocean right so so there you have it so that's all I wanted to say about this book and I'm gonna be reading her other novel O Pioneers uh, very soon and I'm just wondering how different is it going to be from my Antonia but I guess only time will tell um, I chose her because I like the rural setting and of, of her work so anyway um, there you have it so and I'm making good progress through reading a lot of Kierkegaard he's, he's very powerful and moving and I uh, picked up another couple books at the store the other day with some money I got for Christmas and I'm sure you'll be hearing about those two soon enough Anyway, I hope everyone had a good Christmas and good break and all that business. And uh, Happy New Year if, if I don't see you soon. <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs>